I'm going to play for you a couple of examples of EVP that we've caught electronic voice phenomena. My name is Alex Dixon, and I'm on a mission to connect with the sisterhood of the past. With a team of mediums, psychics, and ghost hunters, I am reaching out to see if these spirits have any advice for women in the modern age. Today, I'm going to find out what's up with the ghost of Gertrude Treadwell. Gertrude was born into the wealthy Treadwell family and grew up in New York City. Legend has it that Gertrude met and fell madly in love with a young medical student who lived close by. Her father, Seabury, forbid the relationship, and Gertrude drew inward, becoming a recluse in the family home for almost a century. Could she be haunting this place in the hopes of connecting with her long-lost love? I'm heading inside to search for signs of Gertrude. Welcome to the Merchant's House. Feels like I've gone back in time. It's so pretty. It's a special place. Yeah, so I've heard Gertrude Treadwell, who used to live here, might still be hanging out. Some people do think so. Let me bring you through the house and we'll take a look. So the Merchant's House was built in 1832. Gertrude, the youngest daughter, was born in the house in 1840. She lived here her entire life. She never married and she died in the house in 1933. We get a lot of questions about why Gertrude never married. Gertrude had a suitor. His name was Louis Walton. He was a doctor. He lived just in this neighborhood. Gertrude wanted to marry him, but he was Catholic, and Seabury Treadwell did not approve. What religion were they? They were Episcopal. She swore that if she couldn't marry Louis, she would never marry. And so a lot of people tend to think that one of the reasons that Gertrude is still here is because of this unresolved love story. Gertrude kept that promise to her father and never married Louis, or anyone else. Louis died unmarried at the early age of 63, leaving Gertrude with nearly 30 more years of unrequited love. Over time, she faced severe depression, sequestering herself inside the house where she died alone and brokenhearted. I definitely get a strong sense of sadness as I walk through these rooms. The curators here at the museum often find a really deep indent in that bed, as though someone has been sitting on it. We'll fix the bed before we leave in the evening, mm -hmm. and then we'll go home and come back the next day, and there will be an indent back in that bed. Wow. There have actually been so many reports that we've had from museum staff and visitors that in 2007, the museum paired with paranormal investigative research team led by Dan Sturgis. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Let's go meet Dan. Let's do it. I'm gonna play for you a couple examples of EVP that we've caught, EVP standing for electronic voice phenomena. I am not afraid. You hear that little Yes. Yeah. You hear what she's saying? Any guess I, what she's saying? She said, I am not afraid. Treadwell, is it all right if I use your mirror to fix my hair? Pleasant enough. Oh my God. Pleasant enough. Yeah, pleasant enough. It's pretty obvious that the family is still hanging out here, I think, especially based on what you just showed me. It's clear that Gertrude's spirit is still tethered to this house. While we were filming, our lights were making weird noises, our battery kept draining. The batteries die again. And you could definitely sense the distress in the air. I have to believe that Gertrude and Lewis would have been together had her father not interfered. Maybe they can still be together, if not in life, in death? I'm meeting with an astrology and spiritual consultant to see what can be done for these star-crossed lovers. My intentionality is to reach out to Gertrude. I'm not sure if we're with Lewis right now. I'm, I, oh, no, that's a no, okay. Notice it just started swinging a little bit differently. That's saying no, okay. Of its own accord, it's kind of winding down. That means that the energy is clear. I ask that we please release all negative energies and entities. Gertrude is not here to shuffle the cards, to select the cards, so I accessed her spirit so that I can do it for her. So with the first card, I am asking, basically, what's your problem? The hangman came up, which says, I am out of balance. I'm still out of balance in the netherworld. The second card, mm, interesting. She's telling me that it was a financial issue. Her family was into her keeping the money in the family. 
and it was a big concern of theirs that he was not of the right socioeconomic background. So Gertrude, what is it you need in the immediate future? New beginnings. So she is open to finding a new approach, a new energy, a new way to be. What I am trying to express to Gertrude, okay? When she balances her energy, she can perhaps access Lewis's energy. Lewis, what he's trying to express to me is that he's into a new beginning with the young lady as he first met her. So this clearly is Lewis and this is Gertrude, okay? And this is the feeling they had when they first met each other without the interference of family. So he's asking that they can be reunited. What I would like to do is to do another clearing because this basically is what we call energy work. All they are is energy. There is the possibility that they can be together in the afterworld as they were not in the living world. Life didn't go quite as Gertrude planned, especially when it came to love and family. While she may have never shared till death do us part with her one true love, Lewis, there is still a chance for them to be a part of each other's story after death, and hopefully, finally, a happily ever after.